What is up guys, welcome back to another Fallout video, and today I'm bringing you a sort of compilation type vid, and we're going to be going over all the best working uh, bottle cap glitches and techniques and exploits in the game right now, and I've checked, so all these are currently working after the latest patch, so don't say that they're patched in the comments. I've went over them and checked them, I check them regularly, like every few weeks or so, so if you guys do go on to enjoy this video, make sure you like, subscribe, and let's get right into it. Never pay full price for games again guys, use the link in the description to get up to 90% off of all G2A games. Alright guys, so the first glitch we have is going to be requiring that duplication glitch, so if you do not know how to do that, um, go ahead and keep watching the video, but if you already know how to do the duplication glitch, just go ahead and skip to 236. Alright guys, so to do this glitch, all you have to do is just go to your workshop and then go over to any junk you want. So I chose acid, and then once you have chosen your material, go ahead and then go into your pit boy and then drop that item onto the ground. Now I recommend auto saving at this point just in case you know you lose anything or anything like that but as you do that go in the workshop mode and then this is the tricky part that everyone always gets stuck on. When you're at this part of the place and you're hovering over the item that you want to pick up you press square on PS4 then very quickly after you have pressed square you want to press circle. Now you know you've done it right whenever it asks you if you want to sort in the workshop just go ahead and press yes to get out of that and then press X to get out of the workshop. Now as you can see if you go back to your workshop you should have doubled of that amount just take that out of the workbench and then place it back on the ground and you know you have done it right perfectly whenever there is two of the item that you just had so to get rid of this just go into the workshop mode and then scrap both of them then go back into your workshop and it should have them there and they should be one piece whenever you put them on the ground okay guys so this is real life right now and I want to show you guys how I do it there are two different techniques to uh, actually press it so what I do is whenever I'm doing a glitch I press square and then I slide my thumb over and you actually hit X at the same time that's not really needed but the, my technique is I just slide it over and I end up pressing X anyway or there's also another technique where you just press square and then after you press circle now this is the correct timing that you want to do it and this is how I always do it now if you do it like that it should go ahead and duplicate it but if it does I guess just keep trying it and then this is the speed that you want to use if you are doing the press circle and square and not actually sliding your thumb alright guys so now that you know how to do the duplication glitch or you just skipped ahead in the video go ahead into your workshop go over to stores and then choose the trader you want to do now preferably you can um, use the weapon trader which is going to give you the most it's going to give you 3000 caps per one if you go to the emporium one or if you don't have enough bottle caps yet just go to like one of the cheap trader ones that only costs like 100 bottle caps to start up but since I have a lot of money I'm going to go into the weapons emporium one now for this we're going to be doing the same technique that we're doing on the normal material we're going to be going over it hovering over it press square and circle super fast and you'll see a little split screen in between and whenever it says store weapons emporium in the workshop you want to go ahead and press yes just like on the past materials and now that you will see you actually have one um, weapon emporium like ready to place down that's not going to charge you at all and you're going to have one um, that's been scrapped because it thinks that you scrapped it and you got the money for it even though you really didn't. So the only money that's going to be costing you this is going to be the ones that actually takes to start up the actual glitch. So if you don't have enough, use a Trader Workshop like I was saying and just kind of build your way up. The Trader Workshop doesn't really produce that much money in itself, but it's going to help you get to higher workshops. You can do it a lot faster because this weapon's emporium. If you get 3,000 bottle caps each time, it adds up really, really quickly. And it's probably one of the best bottle cap glitches in the game right now. This glitch also works just fine with the normal, like, counter workshops. Where they're just, like, not these, but, like, just looks like a counter. Um, works fine with them as well. Now, when I made this glitch a long time ago, I forgot to mention that they're not going to be in your inventory whenever you, like, exit the workshop. And what you got to do is... You actually have to go over into your workshop and go over into the miscellaneous tab and all your bottle caps should be right there waiting for you. Alright guys, so for this next glitch slash exploit, it's actually more of an exploit in my opinion, but what we're going to be doing is basically just duplicating a ton of expensive materials and then just selling those materials back to the vendors. Now, one of the most um, expensive materials that I found is actually nuclear material. Um, these sell for a lot of bottle caps. So as you can see, I have a ton duplicated right now, over 3,000. So I'm going to be taking this to a vendor. Make sure you can still be able to walk. And um, if you don't have enough to walk, you can also use that perk where you can actually still fast travel when you're overcumbered. But basically once you're done duplicating all of your desired material go ahead and just put it back into your um, Inventory and then go ahead and fast travel to any vendor in that you prefer in my case I chose Diamond City, but you can choose any vendor that really works you can go to a vault you can go to 
um, Good Neighbor, any place like that where they have a lot of vendors or even the Prid one. Okay, so once you're at your desired vendor to sell all of your materials to, go ahead and just talk to him and then go ahead and go into your side of your inventory and then just sell him a ton of your um, material or whatever you have. Now, most vendors only have about 500 bottle caps depending where you are, but for this, we're going to be actually, you can be either doing um, selling him just the bottle caps that he has or you can go ahead and just sell him all of it and just basically get everything in his inventory for free depending on what you want. Um, this is a really, really good way to get any items for free off the game really, really quickly. So if you're like levels like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, all the way up to 10 or something like that, and you don't have very many bottle caps, you can use this method and actually it's a very good way to get a boost straight off into the game. Okay guys, so for this next glitch, you're going to actually have to be friends with the Minutemen and have access to the Minutemen castle. So if you don't know where that is, it's actually located on the very end of the sea right here. And basically what you want to do is just go into this little like room right here and then go into the armory. Now, once you're in here, you're going to see a little like orange shelf with a like greenish, yellowish box on top of it. Um, go ahead and go into the box and you'll go ahead and see some flares and some artillery smoke grenades. Now, go ahead and just take those out of the box and then go ahead and just leave the room. Now, we're gonna, you don't have to leave the room completely, but I just want to show up for a little fact right here. Just go to the entrance and then come back through. You don't have to go that far. You can basically do this super fast by just turning around quickly like halfway through. But then go ahead and back into it. As you will see, they'll be right there again. They'll just respawn. And you can go ahead and just keep doing this over and over again until you have the desired amount that you want in your inventory. Now, I'm pretty sure the artillery smoke grenades do not sell for anything at all, but the flares, however, do. Once you do have your desired amount, we're going to be doing the same thing we did in the previous glitch and then going to a vendor um, of your choice. And once again, I chose Diamond City. Now that you're with your vendor, you can go ahead and just find your flares. And as you can see, I have 692 and they do sell for about one bottle cap a piece. So you can get quite a bit of bottle caps from this glitch. Okay, guys, so for our next glitch slash exploit, this one is more of an exploit as well. Um, basically, what we're going to be doing is just going into our inventory and then going to a settlement that has um, a majority of it water. So either sanctuary, the castle, or something like that. Don't choose a settlement that doesn't have very much water. We're going to be making a whole bunch of water purifiers. Now, if you don't have the materials for this, like I was saying, go ahead and just um, duplicate those materials using the glitch. That should at the beginning of this video. So basically just be placing down a ton of these water purifiers. Also, you're going to need to keep in mind that you need some way to power these. I would recommend using one of those like robot ones, um, generators that produce like 100 power. But um, if you run out of space in your settlement of actually placing water purifiers, don't worry about that. I actually have a solution for that coming up once ever I finish placing down mine. But um, make sure you are using the industrial version of the water purifier. You can use the smaller ones. It's just that you won't need enough power. Also, um, they don't produce nearly as much as the actual huge water um, purifier industrial version. But once you are done with placing them all down, make sure you go ahead and um, connect them all. Also, if you do run out of room for placing these, I do have a solution for that, which I'm going to be showing right now. Go into workshop mode, go over to wood, go over to prefabs, go to floors, and then select one of the small floors. Place this nearby, close to one of the water purifiers, and just hold A on it, and it will actually um, snap on both of them. So you can pick them up both at a time, and since you can actually place wood on land, it's going to let you place a ton of water purifiers on land right here. So if you want just a settlement ded dedicated to actually just having a ton of water purifiers on it and just for the sake of making a ton of bottle caps, um, just fill your entire island up with um, water purifiers. But once you have actually completed the step of um, just putting down a ton of water purifiers, go ahead to your bed and sleep for 48 hours. Why 48 hours? Just because that's how long it takes for water purifiers to like regen and like actually produce a ton. So whenever you come back, you should have a ton of them in your inventory. Now that you are all well rested, go ahead and just get up and go into your workshop. Go over to transfer and if you head on over to aid and um, scroll down to you see purified water, you'll actually see that you should have a ton of it in your actual inventory. You can do this as you want. You can take it to vendors and sell it, which is how you get the caps hoard, or you can just use it to use it. Alright guys, hopefully you did find this video helpful and hopefully you did find a glitch that worked pretty well for you. Um, if I do still sound pretty weird, it's because I'm still kind of sick. My voice is just really raspy, and like I just like at the end of the videos I make it like I just feel like I just can't talk anymore. But hopefully it goes away soon and does not get worse like it did last year. But if you guys do want more of these videos in the future, make sure you tell me that in the comment section. Also, if you guys did go on to enjoy this video, make sure you guys like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.